up guys welcome to Caleb's collecting corner I got a package in the mail today and I know what this is but you don't and uh, on the box it's from big bad toy store I didn't get it from there I got it from eBay and I got it for a good deal I picked this up because it was something that I collect the original line but the new line I was kind of like eh, do I want to get these do I not and I got this for a really good deal so uh, let's go ahead and crack it open and see if I want to end up buying more of these I have my scissors with me, but, uh, oh, I am going to need them. Looks like, oh, as I shake the camera, sorry about that. All right, sweet. Let's go ahead and open this up. A little bubble wrap gimmick. So here is the figure, which he looks pretty sweet, actually. It is the Earthworm Jim premium DNA figure. And it's loose, obviously. The articulation on this looks pretty sweet. I don't know how many points it actually has, but look, oh, hand popped off. Hopefully it has interchangeable hands. I didn't just break this. It, it went right back on. Thank goodness. But anyway, here is the gym. And then uh, with this, like I said, I got it for a good deal. It also came with the head pack that has the multiple heads that I thought was kind of ridiculous anyway, because it's cool because it comes with a little worm body, but I thought it was a little ridiculous because the head pack comes with like six heads see is that a different one yeah comes with six heads but two of the heads i believe come with the regular gym so it's like you only get four new heads so let's see let's go ahead and, here's like a smiley head one angry face regular clothes face on the original one um i don't know if that's the original one though, that was on there uh let's see the other heads real quick here's actually one of the heads Oh, well, it's a smiley head on the little worm body. Pretty cool. Let's see if it'll stand. Doesn't look like it's gonna stand. I feel like that's a lost cause. There's more of kind of him like saying groovy. Pretty cool. Here's like a little smirking one. The closed face one again. And then the angry one again. And then he also came with a burnt head which I think is awesome because if you played the Earthworm Jim game you when you would die there'd be different like animations and stuff where his head would explode or like it'd get burnt up that this one actually goes all the way around to the back too that's pretty cool pretty sweet he also comes with his regular handgun sweet and a couple interchangeable hands here it looks like um, let's see got like an open hand Dropping things here. Another open hand. The other one. Here is a closed fist hand. I don't know what this is. It's in there though. Whatever. And then comes with another closed fist hand. So it comes with three sets of hands. These are pretty sweet. I definitely wouldn't mind the uh, Dr. Monkey for a head. I think that's his name. Anyway, then he comes with a little snot figure who always would be in his backpack, and it looks like his backpack, I don't know if it's interchangeable or how it works, I'll have to uh, play around with that, but here's a little snot and it's coming out of his back, and here is one where like in the game, it's snot coming out of his back, but it would like cling up and grab something, and uh, yeah, it's really cool, especially if you're a big fan of the game. Um, I don't know, I'm kind of up in the air if I want to get more of these. Let's go ahead and check these out with the 360 motion, see how it looks. Alright, so I put the different dead head on him there. Um, the heads pop right out. The quality on these feels really good. Uh, let's go ahead and throw the little happy face on him here. Let's just see how that looks. Really cool interchangeable. The quality feels really good. They feel very playable, poseable. They don't feel like they're going to break easy, which is always a plus. You know, you want toys you can display, have fun with, and not have them broken, you know. Like uh, McFarlane toys, a, ten a lot of times tend to be very fragile, and they seem to break quite a bit. But very cool figure. Let's throw that gun in his hand, see how it looks. It's right in there. This is a sweet figure. 
I might end up getting the rest of them. We'll see. There's three other figures. Well, there's a couple exclusives. I think Big Bad Toy Store has one. And then uh, there's one other one that's like the mail away figure where he's in green and black as well. All right, so I'm going to show you here real quick. If you take this off, how that comes out there, you can have it just where the snot's kind of coming out of his back. Or you can have the one where it's clinging up and gripping. Really cool. All right, guys, so that was my unboxing, or what's in the box? You know, it wasn't uh, it wasn't coming out of the regular original packaging, but I got it for a great deal, like I said. I do think this toy line is great. I will probably end up buying the bad guys as well. I don't know if I'm gonna buy the special edition ones where there's a big bad toy store one where his pants are down. Pretty funny figure. Uh, and then there's another one that looks like the mail away Jim from the original line. But uh, I did realize also that little blue thing is his gun holster that goes on right there. But very cool figures. They feel like they're great quality. The paint applications are amazing. They look great on them. I would recommend buying this toy line. But I appreciate you guys checking out this video. If you get a chance, please subscribe to the channel. Share this video if you get a chance, you know? I love to always see new people subscribe. I'm hoping to make the channel grow. So share this video. You know, and like it, you know, let's do all of the things if we can. But I just appreciate you being here. Hope you had a good day. And I'll catch you guys on next time on Caleb's Collecting Quarter.